good morning, good afternoon, whatever you are, what time zone you are in. Uh, my name is Oksana and I'm your host for today. Uh, I've been running this English speaking club for more than a year already with a free science school. Yeah, and I welcome you uh, to our uh, uh, Saturday meeting. Please raise your hands who is the first time here. Uh, raise and wave your hands. Nobody? Everyone knows? Okay, just a few words. I remind, uh huh. Anyway, we have just one. Okay, yeah, yeah, two. Cool one. Uh, so I remind and I tell uh, for new members and remind for everyone how we works. Um, this is an English speaking club and we have a topic for discussion, which I put in our Telegram channel. And I put a few uh, questions for discussion in advance. So you have time to prepare, uh, maybe uh, remember uh, interesting stories, find a new vocabulary, uh, refresh your knowledge about English, so on, so on. Um, we have normally three uh, rounds. Uh, each round takes from 10 to 15 minutes, depends on time and depends on people. And I put you randomly in a small uh, rooms uh, from from two to four people, maybe maximum, yeah? And in that room, uh, you uh, should discuss question with your partner uh, after we back to a main room. So right now we are in the main room and some of you um, share uh, news ideas, some interesting uh, storage which you, story, sorry, which you heard in your small group, okay? I, I expect one to volunteers. Uh, I know that it is hard to speak on public, but anyway, we are here for uh, develop our English skills. So please uh, don't be don't be shy, don't hesitate. Just take your chance and and try to to do it. Nobody gonna uh, judge you here. Uh, one more suggestion. Um, it's about uh, introduction. To make your conversation more uh, comfort uh, comfortable and make your um, your room with your partner like uh, cozy, uh, it's good if you start with introduction. Yeah, and you can say a few words about your motherland, place where you're from, and. Um, Oh, what else? Uh, place where you right now? Because I know most of you moved from another. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, your job or your specialization and your hobbies. That's enough. One, two minutes. And after you uh, back to discuss questions. Uh, if you have a spare time, please be free. Uh, ask your partner something extra maybe you would like to share your news because most of you already know each other uh, i expect you to have fun here and also respect to each other yeah as i said before uh, we don't judge we just we are here for practicing uh to be more confident about your english skills i put a few sources in our chat which i really um, recommend to use and i trust them so please, if you have doubts about words or pronunciations, uh, you can use uh, my sources or maybe some, some extra. What else? I remind you that we work with camera on. So please, uh, Sergey, Sergey, yeah. Um, yeah, Sergey, uh, I need your camera on. Or on the other hand, I, not just, I have to delay you from here. And uh, who is Judy? Do we have Judy? Who, who... Judy was a child, Oksana, so I don't know. Okay, so this is club for adults, and yeah, okay, cool. Everyone is ready, and uh, I hope we can move on for our topic. So, what is the topic for today? About money and bills and salaries. Yeah, definitely some tough maybe for some tough for some hot topic for some just a natural so let's uh, speak today about money how to make money how to borrow if we if you are okay about borrowing uh, money yeah let uh, let's we think about difference between salary and wage i hope you prepare it or you can quickly check it yeah and uh, yeah and how to make it uh, make it uh, higher if you wish 
<laughs> yeah, and let's start. Uh, yeah, for the warming up, let's start for the first questions like, what is the different between salary and a wage? It's this first question. Yeah, what is the different? And the second one, what is a good salary nowadays in your in your opinion? Uh, yeah, and because you're in different places, uh, you can just yeah tell your about your environment, how it's going in your environment, okay? Um, let me prepare uh, groups for you guys, just a second. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Have a great time, 10 minutes for, for two of these questions. I'm opening. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, I, prepared, uh, I prepared something for you. Uh, you can check in our chat box there. That's about the topic between difference between salary and wage. And I heard such an interesting ideas. So uh, who is ready to say what is the difference between salary and wage? And after we move to the second question, like what is the average normal uh, salary? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, please, Denise. Uh, Turn on your microphone and we are ready to listen to you. Microphone, you are mute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, mute. I'm trying to to to, uh, to tell about our vision, what the difference is. But according to our understanding of our group, so yeah. salary is like a uh, like a, a well, very fixed uh, like o'clock, for example, in Russian, when well people will get their money depending on well how many days, for example, they work. Uh, so, 20 days uh, a month, so well, eight hours per day, so when you get your o'clock. Okay. Your yeah, okay. And uh, the wages, it's the same. They're applied like a, like a salary, but the difference is that you are paid for the results. For example, you have, well, you, you need to work uh, some hours on the project, or you need to, well, translate some pages, and you are paid for the page, for every page. Uh, or you need to do some services, or you need to serve some clients, and so on. So, in yeah. depending on the real results, you will have the same surplus, yeah. but uh, not in the fixed space. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Like salary, it's some fixed amount of money which you get every month, right? And wage, it is your an hour of payment, yeah, or even pay or payment for your project. Uh, have you guys tried to both of them? Like, if if so, what's what is better for you? Well, we didn't have enough time to discuss in more details all the uh, what what is better for us. Okay. Well, uh, well, I think well, if part of my my group uh, well well take actually well uh, wages and a part of salary and probably uh, as for me well I get the same. The, the boss. Yeah, boss cool one. System. So what do you so say? can have like a premium, like a, well, wages and uh, well, small fixed uh, a clock like a salary. So yeah. that's... Base, uh, base. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like a base, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what, what do you say? What's more comfortable for you? What is your preference? Salary or wage? Uh, wage well, plus salary. Well, wages. So, sure, the wages is more preferable from my point of view because it's actually, well, well, motivate you to to work more hard to, wow, to develop wow. yourself. Yeah, That's, cool for you. Well, you can see that well when you pay people well salaries, so they uh, they try to just to sit most well, spend time on the work and then well go home and do yeah their own. yeah uh, so. okay yeah I I noticed that um, agree with you okay Denise thank you very much. And our next question was, what is the average uh, salary for a um, uh, normal life? The question is, what is normal life and what is the average salary? Uh, might someone would like to share? Mm, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Yeah, Alessia, yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I think it's dependent on uh, what country do you live? Do you have husband? Do you have kids? How many spend money every month? Like it's uh, so different. If you yeah. live alone, you just have like two thousand enough. Maybe every country. If you have family, uh, two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, two thousand dollars. Um, dollars, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, now it's uh, in the United States, um, um, in the rent so up, and the products, some maybe some car. And what part of my example, when you comfortable live to United States, like Florida State, you okay. maybe yeah. have six thousand, maybe eight thousand. It's a comfortable minimum per month. Like five per month. Yeah, minimum for a for a person. 000. Sorry, for a person or for a family. For family. For uh, family. Family to kids. Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. Now I live in Moscow and uh, comfortable for my family. Maybe like. 2000 if you have um your apartment like not rent apartment yeah comfortable yeah. like two thousand dollars per month um it depends on what you have what you like what you spend definitely so yeah money. definitely <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah thank you very money. much yeah. yeah thank you very much yeah. i remember we discussed that question in our english speaking club and uh yeah and we found out that one thousand is okay like 1000 but most of us we are single and we lived like in different countries not in the usa so yeah it definitely depends on your place and a way how you live do you have a family do you have a partner for supporting or not okay yeah thank you very much uh let's move on wish that you uh, earn enough for your great life and the second question of for the uh, second part sorry it will be about so what is a good way to save money or to borrow them okay and yeah and it's what situation and here probably you share stories when you save money and it works well and when you borrow it and it's also uh, was a benefit for you okay so save borrowing have you tried or not in which situation uh, yeah, 15 minutes I give for that uh, round and I open in rooms for you, please follow the links. Okay, so uh, yeah, I want to say sorry for a lady who is in Vilnius right now. She mentioned, I don't remember her name, she mentioned about the weather. So right now I'm in Tbilisi, but I came here from the one of the most uh, sunniest city uh, in Turkey. And that weather, like it is gray and cloudy, and that weather really makes me dumb. So I'm really sorry for a lady who right now in Vilnius, when it's rainy, cloudy and uh, uh, gray, I guess. And I hope that spring is coming soon and it will be better. Okay, uh, till that, let's we uh, discuss our topic. It was about uh, what, yeah, so what is uh, better to save or borrow money and in which situation? And some of you say that, like, if you have money, go to spend it instead of save that, which is cool for me because I'm some kind of um, frugal person. Yeah. Uh, what about you guys? What are you ready to share? Um, at least, probably Denise is going on. Well, I would say from our group, we most of us, all of us, actually frugal person. So we would really, <laughs> really, you not, found each other. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, well, what we agreed that we, uh, well, we would prefer to borrow to have like, like a mortgage uh, when you need to buy well a house or apartment. So it costs a lot. So you just don't yeah. have well enough money if you have if you have a chance if your construction company will provide you credit uh or allow you to pay for years like uh you know example of, of one of our participants so that's that's very good too but to borrow so we just prefer to to borrow only if we need to buy something well very expensive like us, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah okay uh by the way i heard it yeah okay thank you very much uh someone else probably mm, nope yeah uh denise i i, and I would agree. like to that we found yeah. well, like a uh, uh, model verbs like uh to save uh how, how to say in english to save uh, the journey again so 
say for rains for rainy days yeah 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 <laughs> you are <laughs> you are great yeah i heard it right uh yeah i agree with you by the way uh it's really more uh more benefit to have a more benefit when you uh take a loan take a credit or borrow money for some um for some project or so for some expenses right like a car or maybe you need extra money for your business or for your property it's quite uh, reasonable yeah to borrow them from someone uh from an official places or some from your uh, people around you for example um okay in this case let's we move to the last round and i would like ask you about financial literacy do you know what is this or not uh, have you ever taught uh, or may, might you uh, got some courses yeah and uh uh, yeah, and when can a person learn financial literacy if he if he needs it if he needs it? Okay. Uh, yeah, guys, I open uh, rooms for you. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, our last uh, round was the shortest one. We are limited in time, so let's we say a few words about financial literacy. Uh, do we need it or not? If so why we need it. Uh, have some one of you experienced any courses, maybe lessons in their school, university, whatever, what you say? Oh, yeah, Oksana. I want to say that uh, my son, uh, he, he is 11 years old, and he uh, has a financial literacy education, and I think it's very good uh, investment for him, for him, my investment for him. I I see uh, consequences and very good consequences. Uh, and I um, I was financial literacy educated too, but uh, I don't I didn't uh, go to courses. I only um, uh, find the information in the internet, and uh, I uh, see my results. Too. And mm -hmm. I think all uh, nowadays, all people and, and children and adults should uh, be financial literacy educated. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I remember you mentioned that your son, he uh, studies online, right? Yes, he studied yeah. online last Is year. It a yeah. But financial it... education, he has uh, not online, he go to courses uh, offline. Ah, so because where are you? So is it like a Slavic courses or you stay in another country? Uh, no, it's, uh, I, I, we are living now in Belarus and uh, he has financial literacy educated in Belarus. Uh, okay. Is it a private or from government? It's a private process. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, Oksana, thank you very much. Okay, uh, guys, uh, I have to say that our time uh, uh, over, yeah, and um, as usual, I wish you a great day. I am really glad uh, that you came, all of you. I'm glad to see new members here. And uh, I am appreciate uh, people who had been visiting us and now they're back. So, yeah, enjoy your time. Earn as much as you want. Yeah, as much as you can afford yourself. Uh, as Oksana said, uh, spend uh, money for yourself and for um, joining of our life. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye. Thanks.